Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be going through the Ethereum Bitcoin pair for you all here where I will be starting with this blank chart and building up a technical analysis case for what is likely to happen next. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. And as always, I do recommend that you turn off all distractions, turn off any mobile distractions, conversations, people around you, and give me your full focus. You will, you will appreciate what I am giving you all here and you will thank me. So turn off those distractions, give me 15 minutes and let's go with the chart. So here we're starting on the ethereum and uh what i love about this is that there's a lot of rumors news you know hype around these coins at the moment you know you know these things that i don't care about personally like defi uniswap etc i'm going to show you why this is truly a technical trading asset and traders are the only people who will make money off of these off of all of these assets period the people chasing the news will lose money eventually so let's go as you can see we have a little bit of a move up then we have a little bit of a retracement down. So I'd like to show you what happened on this move up and then where we come down to on this move down to start with. Okay, and truly technical. You can see the first thing that you might notice here is that you had this little bit of a left shoulder head and a right shoulder going on. Okay, that's the first thing that you might notice. But what really led us up to this high? And in my opinion, you had this rising wedge. Okay, so you had this going on along the highs. As you can see, this is a classic rising wedge pattern which does a little fake out of the upside uh, before falling down, okay? And this is the evidence that it was really playing out as a, as a correct falling wedge, the way that you really avalanche down through that level. If you would like to add on some Elliott Wave onto this, what you can see is a really nice count where you have a wave one, two, three, four, and a fifth. What is brilliant about this count is that as you can see, uh, the wave one is the largest, Wave three is the second largest and wave five is the smallest wave here. And that is obviously classic uh, rising wedge theory where the the wave three obviously cannot be the smallest wave. But uh, here it is longer than the wave five. So it's, everything's perfectly valid. You've got a nice rising wedge with then a, you know, a break of that falling wedge. From here, what you can expect is, first of all, where do you find your first area of support? Well, obviously around these first bit of lows which come in obviously around the wave four whether the wave four is here or here okay we can still see this region was offering support then from your high to your low here you actually come back up and you test this was a monthly level uh but that these levels take a little bit longer to mark out i'll just show you one of the fibs that you bounced off of and that was the 0 0.5 fibonacci there was also a monthly coming in that i believe it was around uh, 0 0.35 0 0.34 around this okay uh, so you can see here, you can basically get a start of a rising wedge. Okay, so let me just put this on. Impulse, correction, impulse, correction, impulse, where it's getting, each impulse is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So you can basically come to a conclusion that there is the higher that you're getting here, there's less buying interest. And then the real confirmation of this is when you then make your big break of the rising wedge. So what are the things that we're going to be looking here for technical confluence? Why could have we envisioned that this was going to come down to literally this exact level to the sat? And then from this level, we were going to get the bounce. You might be thinking right now, there's no way you can predict this now. There's no way. Well, let's, let's take a look into this. Okay, the first thing that we love to use is obviously the CC Fibonacci. This is obviously our template that we got going on. And uh, what we're going to do is bring this from the low of the start of the rising wedge to the high of the rising wedge. And would you look at that? This is the champion's channel. Very nice Fibonacci levels. As you can see, it really comes down to here, spends a little bit of time hovering around the level, never losing the last low, which started the rising wedge, as you see here. Never loses this low here. And you impulse up back into this old region. So here you can start to see, okay, that's brilliant. You come down to the CC and now what's the icing on the cake confluence? Because as you know, if you get five impulse waves up, you're looking for an A, B, C correction. Okay, so from this ABC correction, what's the next step of Elliott Wave Theory? Well, the next step of Elliott Wave Theory is that the ABC is a one-to-one -one extension. So the length of A from the top of B, look at that 
the one-to-one -one extension in the CC. If if you're a member of the of the of the of the Champions Group, you will know this is one of my favourite setups I can take because I know the probabilities are highly in my favour. When I have worked out an Elliott wave count like this that then gets an ABC correction and that that one-to-one -one lands in the CC, you have very good probabilities that you're going to get a reaction off of this. And obviously we can see we got the reaction. And so you can see here how we have built up a case of originally seeing five impulse waves up. And then upon seeing the first move down, how we could have envisioned that we were going to get a retracement before another wave down. Anybody buying in all of this section obviously lost money as they got the next wave to the downside. And this is now <laughs> the icing on the cake for me where I can say, you know, this, this is... You know, this is obviously hindsight. I can draw this out and say to you, well, this is very good in hindsight. Yeah, we got to move up. Would you like to see one step better than that? This is the Champions live stream from Sunday, where I literally went through Ethereum and done all of the charting and literally when showed, you, formally want to. <laughs> you know, literally showed everybody yeah, in real time before it obviously happened what I was expecting. And this was recognizing the one-to-one. -one. And obviously this is before we'd even moved up to back test that monthly. It was recognizing that we were going to be going for the one-to-one -one onto the CC around the start of two. So you can see that this is what I'm, what I'm showing you all here is because a lot of people are convinced that Ethereum today has moved because of a uni swap. I don't even know what a uni swap is. Okay. I have no interest. Firstly, you know, I don't know what DeFi is. There was so much hype around this, around all these altcoins pumping. DeFi, there's Uniswap, there's X, Y, and Z bit of news coming out. I have no idea what that is. And I do not want to know what it is. Honestly, I honestly just could not care less what all of these things are. Because the only thing I care about is the technical analysis. And you can see from this technical analysis, we have not only predicted where price was going to bounce from, but also where price was going to go up to before it rejected. So it's it's predicting the move up and then the move down. And then you obviously got the move up to get the move down. And obviously in the time, as you can see here, I would like to highlight, I've put the one to one a little bit lower. And that's obviously because I didn't have any confirmation of where the B wave. All I knew is that we were going to put in another B wave before down for the C. And to get the one to one, I will do it one more time for you. You obviously need to have that B wave in because at the time when we were here, I could not, you know, accurately say whether the B is going to be here, the B is going to be here, the B is going to be here, the B is going to be, you know, once we have that B, then this is where just technical analysis really comes together. You can see how when it lines up with the CC inside of there, very, very, very strong trade. And as you can see, you got the reaction out of this. And uh, what I really wanted to do, I did post this. This was also in in the posted in the group yesterday. You know, yesterday morning while we were while we were at that CC, and uh, you know, I was saying to everybody that I I have longed uh, Ethereum. You know, I have to take this trade because the probabilities are too good not to take it. Obviously, I'm very happy with that because we did get that move up here about six percent. So um, this video was primarily for the people that are convinced <laughs> that Ethereum is moving because of Uniswap. And I hope I have proved that wrong. Uh, Ethereum bounced today because it come down to the one-to-one -one extension in the CC, like period. That is why we bounced. And are you surprised? You know, obviously it's coincided with the bit of news, but let me tell you this. There's always a news article to back up why something's happened because the general public do not understand technical analysis. Ima imagine a news reporter you know, obviously Ethereum's not going to be on the news, but imagine we're trading, you know, the, the same works across all assets, be this the cable, be this the, you know, be this Apple, be this Amazon stock. Let's just say this is Amazon. The general pub, you know, imagine a news reporter, CNBC, coming on and saying, um, you know, we've, we've just bounced off of, uh, you know, 0 0.33 sats because we come down to the one-to-one -one extension in the CC. And then from here, we've got some bullish divergences and, and we've got a bounce. The general public are going to be sat there thinking, you know, I don't understand any of this. I'm going to switch channel. What you need to tell them is Amazon has cut, you know, Amazon has just released its new, um, you know, Amazon has increased its sales after after looking like a rough patch in the earlier in the month. You know, we've just had a good bit of news out. You know, there's a new Apple product coming out X, Y and Z. There's always a news article to back up why something's happening. And I can prove to you time and time and time and time again. It's not that. 
Nothing is moving because of the news. If you trade because of news, you are always going to be losing money in the end. The only way to beat the market is by trading technical analysis. And, you know, I've, I've, it's not like this is just one example that I've handpicked. This is, you know, I've given examples and examples. You know, so just so many trades. Um, so, yeah, that is I wanted to talk you through this chart today. And I wanted to sh and I will show you now where, where you got a rejection from, because this is this is also pretty nice. So what you can see here is what we're going to do from the top of B to the low of C. Once again, looking for that CC top of B to the low of C. As you can see, coming up into that CC once again, and you're getting a pullback. So just as it acted as support, you are now getting it as resistance. You know, this is why I love Fibonacci. <laughs> but, um, you know, just again, truly, truly, truly technical. Um, yeah, so I think that's all that I wanted to talk you through on this. Um, obviously, rising wedge with a little bit of a head and shoulders coming down into Elliott Wave, you know, theory where you get five up, three down, one to one extensions into Fibonacci CC levels. Just truly, truly, truly technical. So I hope that this video has been at least eye-opening to you uh, to show you the power of technical analysis, not only the power of technical analysis, I suppose, but just the technical analysis is the reason these markets are moving. Don't get drawn into these things about uni swap it. You know, I mean, I can't, I'm not going to tell you what to do. This video is obviously not financial advice. This video is just an educational piece. But, um, you know, I hope I've shown you what you what you can do and you can make much more money with technical analysis than you can ever trading news or, or holding something forever um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video ah yeah there's a few things that i want to end with and the first thing that i'm going to end with is um yesterday was funnily enough uh the most um well one of the well-received videos I've, I've done in quite a while and um it made me think that I, I i i think one of the primary reasons why it was so well received is because it was a video where i wasn't showing profits and i and i i think that uh, people really don't like it when I show my profits. I guess because I'm always like, oh yeah, this was a really good trade. And I, I personally like to show the profits because I like to be the person that's showing you I'm not just doing the technical analysis, but I'm actually putting money on the line. And, you know, every trade I'm showing you is like 100,000, 200,000 contracts, you know, generally on my public videos. Um, you know, then that, that makes me 1% move, you know, like $2,000. And obviously, I liked to do those videos and show you those profits so you can see that I'm not just a person behind a screen that's doing charts but doesn't put his money wherever his mouth is. Every trade I do, my money where is where my mouth is. Because, what, what I mean, why wouldn't I? Because I, I'm a good trader. But I do think that also rubbed off the wrong way on people. They didn't really like me showing profits. I don't know. But yesterday, I showed no profits. I just explained the trade and it was one of my most well received videos so basically i've decided from now on i'm not going to show profits because i think people prefer it <laughs> so yeah there's that bit of news that i'd like to give uh so that's something that's something that i can do um and also the second bit of news is we have now cleared up a little bit of the champions uh, section this is based off of feedback from current members it was a little bit too confusing in the past so what we've done is cleaned this up so it's a lot easier to navigate find posts etc third bit of news is obviously that today we do have the uh contenders uh live stream which is going to be going over the day trading strategy that i have okay um so if you are interested in learning about the theory uh you know what i've gone through today obviously in so much so much more detail we have just tons and tons of educational content. There's so much, you know, if you want that educational content, if you want to learn how I'm getting in and out of these trades, um, then I recommend you come over and check out the Contenders live stream tonight. You got about, this is in about nine hours time, but obviously all the live streams are saved and you can watch them all back whenever you would like on demand. Uh, but if you want to be in the live stream tonight so you can get in the question and answers, that is a um, webinar that I've got got tonight going on and i personally am extremely excited for it as you can see 36 slides now of just pure yeah in my heart heart has gone into this one so i'm, I'm very much looking forward to teaching it uh, so that's the other bit of uh, news that i'd like to give uh so yeah hope that you've enjoyed this video as always i would say if you have enjoyed i would thoroughly love a like down below and uh i hope that you have a brilliant day cheers everybody thank you and goodbye